Uh, we had a change to our forecast as well and still kind of waiting for the cold and the rain. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping for that rain, yeah. Sean. Yeah, everybody's kind of like, is that it? <laughs> is that it? Well, it's a, uh, I call these soft edge fronts. They come in uh, kind of subtle. There's a wind change. Winds will slowly pick up. There's some cloud cover. There's a chance for showers, but you don't really get the full impact of that front. You don't really feel it, notice it until uh, further in the day. And we think that's the case for today. You'll notice it this evening and definitely tomorrow morning as the cold air moves in and the rain moves out, the temperatures will start to drop. We're looking for temperatures in the 40s tomorrow morning and maybe low 40s Saturday morning that gets some areas out in the hill country in the 30s. Let's go outside. Take a look at what we have. First of all, out in the Atlantic, uh, well, really it's the Caribbean, but uh, developed and uh, is moving towards the Gulf of Mexico. That, of course, is Rena, and you can see that uh, system has been followed by another area of disturbed weather. Our Hurricane Center has been watching that one carefully, and uh, at the moment there's uh, not much development on it, but it is something that they're going to continue to watch. The very latest from the Hurricane Center is that it has a, I'm going to double check, yeah, right now there's not saying any chance of tropical formation, but it's rain on areas that already have had rain from Rena. Now, here's the latest data. You can see that it is a tropical storm right now. It continues on to the north and then takes that northeasterly path. It'll move on out to the northeast and drop off as low. And honestly, Hurricane Center says it's just going to spiral out. So um, I guess that's good. We could use the rain here. I wouldn't mind it headed our way. But if it's going to go to areas that have already had a lot of rainfall, obviously want to hold off on those folks uh, dealing with that as well. Take a look at outside. Uh, you can see the cloud covers moved in. That definitely is one feature. The winds out of the north are another, but they're not real strong yet. They're going to pick up into the afternoon. We don't have a, a much to show you on radar. I'll show you the radar in a second, but there's not a lot to, out there to worry about as far as rain, but there's a possibility for showers this afternoon that we'd had at about 30 percent. Looks like that'll continue overnight. Maybe one last little push of rain moving out of here as we get further into tomorrow morning. Uh, right before sunrise, it might be heading out of here, and then after that, it is just cool and dry. All right, outside, 68 degrees, overcast, guys. Well, I haven't said overcast in a while, but that's what we're looking at. Winds out of the north-northeast at 9 miles per hour. This morning when the front first came in, they were like 3 mile per hour winds, and that was it. Now out of the north northeast at 9. It will continue to pick up this afternoon. Humidity 59 percent, dew point 53, pressure 29.90 and rising. The temperatures that we have shown here are stepped. I have the color tables on here stepped. So we have 70s in orange, 60s in yellow, and then when you get to the 50s or the threshold of uh, 50s, you see the uh, green coloration here. Can you see the top left of the screen? Those are 40s. They have 40s right now in San Angelo, and that all is going to move our way. It's just going to take a while. It'll be more into the evening. It is 1218 right now, and they're only one degree above freezing in Amarillo. 37 in Lubbock, 43 in Midland, 45 in Abilene, 48 in San Angelo. That cold air filtering in as it moves from northwest to southeast, and you can see there are some people here. Look at Brownsville, 87 degrees, and then you've got 37. 50 degree difference right there and even more than that up for Amarillo. Incredible. Frontal boundary pushing on through, although kind of odd shaped in the uh, line. It looks like it stalled a little bit in some areas. There is shower activity coming in from the south and there are showers out to the west. So we're hopeful that we can get a little rain, but we're not expecting this to be uh, a drop buster by any means. Just a possibility for showers. I'm more concerned that it just might make the drive home this, morning, this evening for a lot of folks a little bit on the slick side, and same for tomorrow morning as well. So cooler temps, scattered showers, a cooler uh, situation for the weekend mornings. I'm concerned about that maybe being a freeze we'll talk about in a second. There's the rain to the north. Noontime, rain to the north still, so it's got it. And then a few showers extending into the hill country. I think our forecast model is doing a fantastic job of nailing down the rain. I just wish it would give us a little more rain. But watch what happens. From this evening, 6 p.m., Overnight hours, a round of showers moves through, and then it's out by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Skies will start to clear, and then we end up with a beautiful weekend. But as I mentioned, a cold one. Now, temperatures today in the 60s, winds out of the north this afternoon, 10 to 20 miles per hour, some showers into the overnight hours, and maybe that last hurrah for showers tomorrow morning. Temperatures down to 48. Watch what happens in our seven-day forecast. I always say second day after a front is when you get your coldest weather. You get the cold air in, but it's still kind of breezy. You don't get the good overnight cooling, radiational cooling. Well, look what happens here. Saturday morning, the winds go calm. The skies are clear. The cold air is in place. 42 here in Austin, which means very likely some 30s in surrounding areas. Could we see a freeze Saturday morning? I'd bet on it, at least in some areas out in the Hill Country. It does warm up, though, close to 80 by Tuesday, Halloween night. Looks good. Looks like it'll be cold.